We are seven months out from Election Day, and voters are gearing up for a rematch between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. Both are hyper-focused on amassing substantial war chests, while uh, drumming up more voter support. And just last week, we saw President Biden bring out some Democratic heavyweights at a fundraiser, and former President Trump put a spotlight on crime while attending the wake of a fallen NYPD officer. And joining us now, senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott and senior White House correspondent Selena Wang. Good to see you guys. And Selena, we'll start with you, but first, tell us what's going on behind you, please, for the people who are watching. Yeah, DeMarco, the reason why you're seeing all the festivities and balloons is because I'm at the annual White House Easter egg roll. It is a rainy day, but that is not stopping the tens of thousands of people expected to come today, DeMarco. Looks like a lot of fun. All right, let's get down to business. President Biden had a heavyweight fundraiser last week. He had former presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama in town. What does this mean to have those two, you know, joining his party here? Yeah, DeMarco, look, that was a major show of force. And at a time when you've got Biden and Trump neck and neck and pulling, it boosted some much needed enthusiasm into the Biden reelection campaign. Now, to have Obama and Clinton up on that stage with Biden pushing for a second term for him, it really injected some more of that confidence into the Democratic base and also increased that already significant cash advantage that Biden already has over Trump. All right, Rachel, we got to talk about Donald Trump here, okay? He's got a lot going on. He's still in the middle of a lot of court things that are happening, some of those judgments still unplaying, unfolding, and he's on the campaign trail. How is he balancing all of this? Yeah, Eva, and you know just how unusual this is to see a former president, now the presumptive Republican nominee, bounce from one courtroom after another over to the campaign trail. Donald Trump has not been out on the campaign trail in over two weeks, and that's primarily because he's been so focused on these legal challenges that are playing out across the country. He will hold his first campaign rally in 16 days tomorrow, making stops in Wisconsin, and Michigan will be out on the ground with him there. But look, the more criminal counts that he's facing, the higher these legal bills are. And so right now, the former president's facing 88 criminal charges. We know just looking at last year alone, his political committee spent $50 million on legal fees. He has some big fundraisers coming up at the end of this week. We know that he's trying to raise a lot of cash for those legal challenges. All right, Selena, let's talk numbers. The latest 538 polling uh, showing the average 39% uh, of Americans approve of the job that President Biden is doing. So what's his game plan to win over those voters? Yeah, look, Jamarco, the president's game plan is all about underscoring that this election is a historic and pivotal choice. It is Trump versus Biden and a choice that this campaign believes is going to lead to either hope and prosperity, in their words, or chaos and division under Trump. So it's driving home that message. And that's why you've seen the president ramp up his personal and direct attacks on Trump, calling him a threat to democracy and saying he's someone who's selfish and only out for himself and not for the American people. Okay, Rachel, Trump has some work to do as well. At 538, average shows him pulling at 42% favorability. I'm curious what his priorities are going to be in the next months. Yeah, other than those legal challenges, we know that he's going to be looking to hone in on who he's going to pick as his running mate, this possible vice presidential pick. But beyond that, a challenge for the former president is going to be winning over some of the voters that are just quite skeptical of him. And I'm going back to being on the ground in South Carolina. I know you're out on the campaign trail and talked to so many voters. We talked to one woman, Debbie Dial Holtzclaw. She told us that she didn't love the former president's rhetoric. She had voted for him in the past, but she was really turned off by him ramping up these attacks. She doesn't know if she could vote for him if he were to be found convicted of a crime. It's voters like that that Donald Trump is going to have to win over. But that also poses a challenge for President Biden as well. I mean, that woman, that voter, she was a retiree. She says that the economy is her number one issue, and she really didn't feel like President Biden was delivering on that front for her either. All right, guys, it is good to see you. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Selena and Rachel, always good to have you on. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.